Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you don't know me, I am Kaushika. So today we are in day 3 in the Avratari series. If you haven't watched day 1 and day 2, then please go into the description below and I hope you like it. So in day 1, we have heard that Sati has sacrificed her life to the fire and has reborn to the mountain and she came to be known as Shailiputri. And in day 2, she, when she was reborn for Shiva, Lord Shiva, she was doing a strong meditation and focusing it on so strongly and that was how she was known as Brahmacharni. Well, let's go into the day 3 story. So in day 3, all the marriage arrangements are going on for Lord Shiva and Parvati's marriage. We can call her Parvati or Brahmacharni. Let's call her Parvati. It's a short name. You all can understand. Parvati and her family and relatives and everyone are waiting. But Lord Shiva, you know, he doesn't have that many clothes or special clothes. When you see in his photo, he might be wearing some skull stuff on his neck and maybe sometimes on his hands. And he doesn't have any um, special clothes. Like he only wears like tiger's skin or leopard skin around his body. But he doesn't wear that many special he clothes. He followers from divines and demons. Do you have any idea how Lord Shiva is going to come to the marriage? Like what he's going to wear? I know, I know, I know. That you're going to guess that he's going to wear a new pair of clothes and make a surprise party. But that's not true. Okay, okay. Don't break your heads by being so confused. Because I'm going to tell you. When Parvati was waiting anxiously, Lord Shiva comes with his demons and divines. And as I told you in the start, he was wearing poor clothes and with demon necklaces and with white ash all over him. By seeing this, Parvati and her family and her friends all got so scared. Parvati got so tense. What should, she, what should she, we do? Well, you know, Parvati comes up with loads and loads of great ideas because you know, she's God. So, she transformed herself into a divine form with 10 arms, 5 on this side and 5 on this side and she would be sitting on a tiger and one very important thing is she was wearing a moon on her head. You know why? Because Lord Shiva was wearing a moon on his head and she adorns her whole divine form with a moon on her head. So by seeing this, Lord Shiva also transformed himself into a divine form but and also with a moon on his head with no more ash or skulls or any scary things on his body. Finally, both of them get married. Because Lord Parvati was dressed in such a divine form with ten arms and sitting on a tiger with a moon on her head which means Chandra like a bell which means Ganta and that is why she is worshipped as Chandra Ganta. Friends, did you understand why we celebrate day 3? So if you really like the video, then give a big little like. It looks like this, you know? Then like. And then if you really want to see the next stages, 
and then click on that teeny mini bell button below on the bottom and please subscribe to my video and if you want you can share to your family and everyone else so that they will also learn this story so bye bye and stay tuned for the next video